Hello everyone, how have you been? I hope you have been great. I am Jagas, a teacher of English at Prelim Newton Raisin School. This video is the, about the English class in level 2B, New Headway 11 to read for citizens. Our unit today is unit 10, where on earth are you? And we focus on the grammar lesson, present continuous, which is on page 78. Okay, and here are the lesson's objective. By the end of the lesson, you guys will be able to first tell the form of present continuous correctly. Second, complete sentences by using the correct form of present continuous. And the last one, you guys will be able to create sentences by using present continuous correctly. Okay. So before we start, I just want to review what we have learned or what we learned in our previous video. Talk about talk about um what is it? Do you still remember? Yes. Talk about the writing, describing a play. So everyone, in order to write about um, a place, how many paragraphs should we write? So there are. Yes, there are four. So the first paragraph is about the general information about the place, right? Okay, so there are some questions that can guide you to write about the general information about that place. So we have how big is it? Where is it? Or you can also add some more information about the populations, the climate or transportation in that place, right? Okay. And the next paragraph is about where is it, oh, sorry, what is it famous for? So some of you have read the good examples of our capital city Phnom Penh that you pick um, the tourist site to um, write about. Okay, and the next paragraph is about um, doesn't have any problems. Okay, so if there are some problems in um about that place or in that place you have to brief it and try by giving some example to support your idea right for example the traffic jam yes extra and the last paragraph what you have to do is about what everyone yes that's great it is about what you like about that place or what do you like best about it yeah, you can show or you can write about your personal feeling toward that place. For example, to me, um, Phnom Penh is the best place and my favorite place is Royal Palace. And for example, and you can also suggest your personal uh, experience. Like um, you can suggest the place for the audience to visit. Yes. Is kind of um, suggestion to the reader. Okay. So without further delays, let's move on to our today lessons. Everyone, please take a look at this picture. So can you guess where is it? Yes, that might be on the train or what? Um, and we have Alice and Tony. So the first question for you is, who is speaking, everyone? Who is speaking? Yes, by looking at the picture, who is speaking, everyone? Yes, that's right. Tony is speaking. So Tony is on phone. He is speaking. How about Alice? What is Alice doing? So everyone, what is she doing? All right. She? Yeah. She is typing. Alice is typing. So um, Tony is speaking while Alice is typing. Okay, so now um, please move on to what we are going to learn today. Everyone, in this picture, we're talking about um, Tony and Alice. And we can see they are currently doing different activity, right? So so is there anything related to our today lesson about present continuous? All right, yes, that's related. Okay, so 
from the examples that Tony is talking on phone, we can draw, we can see that we have a sentence and we can see that he, um, he is doing that activity right now, right? Okay, so we come to the form of present continuous that we have we have Tony, so everyone Tony is speaking on phone. So what Tony, what is what function of Tony, of the word Tony is is in this sentence? How about is talking and on phone? So to talk about the action that is happening right now, we use present continuous like what we have learned from our previous lesson. Okay, already. So present continuous is you to talk about the uh, actions that are happening right now. Okay, so we have the sentence Tony is talking on phone. So we can draw the forms by just for positive sentence. We have subject plus verb to be plus verb ing and plus complement. How about negative forms? Yeah, for the negative form, we have subject plus verb plus not verb to be plus not plus verb ing and plus complement or object. And the question, we have verb to be plus subject plus verb ing and complement. And don't forget that we have question mark for the question. Okay. So without further delays, now we know about the form of present continuous. How about the use? Is present continuous used only for the action that is happening right now or is there are some more? Okay, so to know, let's move on. Yes, we use present continuous to talk about. Yes, that's right. The action happening now, like the example is that we see Tony is speaking. Tony is talking on phone. So when we see something that is happening now, we have to use present continuous. He, for example, you are watching this video. So it means that you are watching it right now. So we have to use present continuous for the action that happening now, right now, right? And next we talk about the future plans. Present continuous can also use to talk about the future plan, like what you are going to do next week or next month. Yes. And the last one, it can be used to talk about temporary action. For example, you are studying online. It means that, yes, it's a temporary action. When the school is um, reopened, we are going to come back, right? Okay, so let's take a look at, at use with the examples for the action that happening now. Everyone, can you give me some example about the action happening now by using present continuous? Okay, yes, I am watching the video lessons. That is for the positive form. I am watching the video lesson. So meaning that you are doing it right now. So we just present continuous. Yes, what if you want to change this sentence to negative form? Everyone, what if you want to change? Yes, we just add the word not. So we can say I am not or I'm not watching the video lesson. How about question? What should we change? Just we change it to are you watching the video? All right. It, okay, so all of this sentence, we talk about the action happening or it's not happening right now. Okay. How about the action that we do present continuous to talk about future plan? Can you give me some example? Okay, so for the present continuous that use for future plan, um, we can say my sister is going to new level next term. So it is that going to happen in the future, right? And the question of uh, the question where are you going to do next week? 
sorry, what are you going to do next week? And another can be say can be said they are they aren't going anywhere on weekend. So all of these sentences are about the future plans that be you present continuous. Okay. How about the action that be you present continuous to talk about the temporary action? Yeah, for the word temporary action, it means that it just for a short time uh, that you doing that kind of action. Okay, so can you give me the example? What action that you do or some one do for a short time? Okay, so we can draw the examples by um, my sister is working for a BC bank, meaning that she just worked um, for that bank for a short time, not for permanent. Okay, so mean that um, it's mean that she's going to work for um, the other careers next week, next month, we don't know, but what we know is that um, when we use this sentence, when we use present continuous to talk about this kind of action, meaning that it's only for a short period of time, it's permanent. Oh, sorry, it's not permanent, but it's temporary, okay? And the question, is it raining at the moment? Okay, everyone, is it raining at the moment? So, um, um, as we know that the rain is not going to rain forever, right? So, um, the rain can be not longer than two hours or five hours, right? So, when we talk about the action that is temporary happening, we use present continuous, okay? And next, I'm, I'm not playing guitar tonight. So it's talking about your action or temporary action that you are not playing the guitar tonight, but for tomorrow or yesterday, you might play it. But every day you might play it, but only tonight that you um, are not going to play it. So it's just a temporary action. Okay, so again, for the temporary action, we can also use present continuous. Okay. So now let's move on to the practice. So um, we have um, the sentences, and you have to complete um, the sentences by using the correct form of present continuous, everyone. But um, before we do the practice, I just want to summarize about the use of present continuous. So at first, we have um, present continuous is used to talk about the action that is happening right now. Okay. Second, we talk about the future plan. And the last one, you can use present continuous to talk about temporary action. Okay. So now let's do the practice together. We have the sentence, my sister. TV right now. Okay, and we have the word watch in the bracket. Number two, the boys tennis today. And the word in the bracket is play. Number three, the children at the moment. We have the word swim. So everyone, and the last one, we a very good time on holidays. And we have the word have. Okay. So you have one minute to complete um, the word in the sentences. Some of you might um, have done, so 
Okay, so we can, we have only five seconds, okay. Okay, so every time is up, so let's have the answer together. We have my sister, yes, my sister is watching with the uh, TV to right now. The boys, just the boys are playing tennis today. And the children, yeah, the children are swimming at the moment. And the last one, B. Yes, we are having a very good time at holidays. Okay, so now let's move on to the next practice. What you have to do in this practice is to choose whether present simple or present continuous. For present simple, we have already learned. And now what do you have to do is to um, choose whether present simple or present continuous. Okay. So we have the first sentence, someone waits, is waiting for you outside. Number two, um, what do you think or what are you thinking of this book? And number three, we have, do you believe or are you believing in ghosts? The last one, cat is busy. She studies or she is studying for the test. Everyone, you have one minute to um, choose whether present simple or present continuous. Okay, so now time's up. Um, Number one, someone waits or someone is waiting. Yes, very good. Someone is waiting for you outside. Okay, why do you choose present continuous for this sentence? Because, yes, because it's the action that is happening right now, right? So, um, you, so you might say someone is waiting you outside. That's why you choose present continuous. Number two, Yes, what do you think? So the first thing is um, start verb, right? So we use the word, um, do you think? What do you think of this book? Number three, do you believe or are you believing? Can you see, can you see the action of belief? No, right? So we cannot do present continuous with the verb believe. Okay, so we have to say, do you believe? It's kind of start verb. Okay, so we just do you believe in ghosts? And the last one, cat is busy, she studying or is studying? Yes, very good, is studying for the test. Because you might see um, the light is on and she is focus, um, focusing on her study for the test. Okay, and now let's move on to the last practice in our today lesson. What you have to do in this is to put the verb in bold and present simple or present continuous and we have the word work and we have two sentences my father in a bank and i very hard at the moment i need the money another verb uh, have so we have that have line tomorrow i usually lunch at 1 p.m Sentence number two, I'm sorry, you lunch, I'll phone you back later. So what you have to do is to use um, the power to complete in these sentences, whether in present simple or present continuous. And everyone, you have one minute as well to do this task. Okay, so now the time's up. Okay, the first one, my father works or is working? Yes, the correct answer is, yeah, works. So my father works in a bank, meaning that what you have, uh, what um, your father work now is in the banks, but it's not talk about the action that is for 
a short period or a temporary, but it's talking about his careers for a specific periods of time. It means the facts. It is the two information that your father works in a bank. Like you guys, you are a student. So you talk about the career. So it the uh, permanent like permanent activity that you do. And it is a fake, the general truth about you. So we use present simple. Number two. Um, yes, I am working out very hard at the moment. So I need the money. So it is just for a temporary action, right? That you guys work hard because you need money. But it doesn't mean that you work hard for a um, permanent time, but it's just for a temporary, okay? And number one, uh, with the word um, have, let have lunch tomorrow, I usually at 1 p.m. Yes, I usually have lunch at 1 p.m. So in this sentence, we talk about yes, your habit that you usually have lunch at 1 p.m. So we use present simple to talk about the habit. In this sentence, we have to use the word have. How about number two? Yes, I'm sorry, are you having lunch? I'll phone you back later. Okay, so it's talking about the question that um, someone asks you, are you having, I mean, are you doing, are you eating now? So I'll phone you back later, okay? Okay, so now it's come to the homework. For the homework, it's kind of easy things. That you have to do is to um, create three sentences of present continuous and the X use, meaning that for we have three use sets of present continuous. So one use, three sentences. So totally we have nine sentences because we have three uses for present continuous, right? So create three sentences of present continuous and the X use. Okay. So totally is nine sentences. Okay, everyone. So now it's come to the end of our today lesson. Thank you everyone for watching this video and good luck.